The international chemical weapons watchdog today confirming Britain's findings that this former Russian spy and his daughter were in fact poisoned by a nerve agent. Now Russia not willing to accept any of these conclusions unless they get access to the evidence. Investigators from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons said in a report released this morning the nerve agent was of high purity. Britain says that means only a state with a sophisticated lab could have manufactured it. The watchdog says its job was to identify the poison, not to trace its origins or assign blame. Britain has accused Moscow for the March 4th poisoning of former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia in the UK city of Salisbury. The attack on Sergei and Yulia Skripal in Salisbury was the first time a nerve agent has been deployed in Europe since the Second World War. That's sobering. It demonstrates how reckless Russia is prepared to be, how little the Kremlin cares for the international rules-based order, how comfortable they are at putting ordinary lives at risk. The incident caused international furor and triggered the expulsion of more than 150 Russian diplomats from Western countries, including Canada. The Kremlin, however, denies involvement and is accusing Britain of waging a defamation campaign. It has responded by expelling the same number of diplomats. Russia says the nerve agent could easily have been manufactured in another country and is pressing Britain to share evidence in the case. We confirm our official position, says this Russian foreign ministry spokesperson, that Russia will not accept blindly any conclusions in the Skripal case until Russian experts are given access to the above-mentioned materials of the investigation and to the full range of real information on this incident, which London is in possession of. The findings come just after Yulia Skripal rejected the Russian embassy's offer of assistance as she recovers at an undisclosed location. The 33-year-old was released from hospital earlier this week and issued a statement saying she does not wish to speak to the media or Russian officials right now. Moscow is questioning the authenticity of that statement, saying it was crafted to support Britain's version of events and claims Yulia is being held against her will. The UK is now requesting a meeting of the UN Security Council to discuss the chemical weapons report that will likely happen next Wednesday afternoon.